Ok, donc là c'est un duel de guitare. Donc là, regardez ce que je vais faire. Euh... Non, j'aurais pas dû faire ça en fait. Là, ce qu'il faut faire, c'est battement de jambes. Voilà. Ensuite, avancer vers Jennifer. Puis, monter sur l'estrade. Et pour finir, bon. Et là, il va m'imiter, comme d'habitude. Hein Et voilà. Ce gros crétin s'est foutu dans la poubelle. Martin McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and some guys don't. You broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait. I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? Ah, uh, tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk. About the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on! Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. McFly! Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. 
I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is, what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. Alors. Il Valet n'est pas censé être comme ça. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff! It's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went through all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. Cry for help, as it were. Yes! No way. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Wait. No! I, I mean, yes! What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. C'est celle-ci, la réalité alternative. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand you, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Ah. Uh... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your map, your memory. 
Oui, donc là, euh, Doc, en fait, euh, cette version de Doc avec les cheveux courts, c'est à ça que ressemble le vrai acteur Christopher Lloyd. Il a à peu près euh, la même coupe de cheveux et bon bah la tête forcément c'est la même hein, puisque c'est l'acteur qui a été modélisé. Et bon je pense que c'est une petite, euh, on va dire entre guillemets, une référence. Hmm. Alors qu'est-ce que je peux faire euh... Doc Doc, I mean citizen Non, non, focus out, not on me. Use the objects in the room as points of reflection. I wish to observe your thought processes. Ouais, donc là, il va rien me dire de spécial. Horloge fenêtre. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it, yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? J'avais jamais fait ça avant. Euh, le tableau, tiens. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter, after my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Voilà. Le but du jeu, c'est d'essayer de le faire douter par rapport à la machine à voyager dans le temps et le convaincre que ce n'est pas une réalité alternative. Et avec des détails comme ça, au bout d'un moment... Euh... On peut arriver à le, à le forcer à accepter la réalité. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think the whole town is under surveillance. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931, it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I, uh, bizarre fantasy life. Go on, proceed. Je sais pas s'il y a quelque chose que je n'aurais jamais euh, regardé avant. C'est juste pour ça que je visite vite fait la pièce. Oh, il n'a pas l'air d'y avoir grand chose. Mais après c'est sur le bureau, on peut voir d'autres trucs normalement. Euh... I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. <rire> euh... Ticket de cinéma. You still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see the virtuous husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was going to give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical, not to mention historically inaccurate. My dolly wife is all the scientific news I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.